And uh, in Toronto and across the country, many parents complain about the lack of available daycare. There are 350,000 children under the age of 12 in this city and 65,000 licensed daycare spaces. So the universal child care benefit was intended to support parental choice, but it doesn't actually address the issue. So what should we do about the shortage of affordable child care? And Julie, let's start with you. You have 30 seconds. Sure. Um, one of, as I mentioned, one of the core pieces of the Liberal platform is uh, doubling our infrastructure investment over 10 years. This has never been done before. Uh, and so what this is, allows cities and provinces to do is to uh, prioritize where they want to spend money. So what we could do is be is actually create additional childcare spaces and we desperately need it. We need additional spaces, we need to make them accessible and affordable. And so our historic infrastructure plan that allows cities and provinces for 10 years to plan that will allow that to happen. Okay, Dan, you're next. Francis, that's a really good question because what we really need to do is cancel the $4.5 billion universal child care benefit <laughs> that the government spends on sending out checks to every family for about $160 so that you can deduct that from the maybe $1,200 you're spending on child care. So that's what I'm in favor of doing. I'm in favor of taking that $4.5 billion, adding another half billion, half billion, and right there you have the amount needed for a national, the federal buy-in for a national child care program today, not in eight years like the NDP or not in terms of do whatever you want like the Liberals. Well listen, this is one of the fundamental issues facing families today, uh, certainly in Toronto and right across the country, and that's why we are finally going to bring in a national universal child care program in this country that's going to cost parents no more more than $15 a day uh, right across the country. This is going to be transformational for, for, our, our, for our city and for our country. Uh, you know, I was talking to a family, uh, a couple last night, and they both have good jobs. Uh, and they're spending $3,000 a month on childcare, and, and they're considering whether, whether one of them has to stop working and you know the floor I'm, is open as well and, and so and and i was talking to uh to to the woman uh of the couple and she was saying you know it's always women that have to that have to make that sacrifice and what we saw with the quebec model is that in the first 10 years of their seven dollar a day child care between 30 and 70 thousand women who otherwise couldn't enter the workforce were able to so we're going to take that model and we're bringing it right across the country and uh this is going to be an amazing uh new breath of, of, of fairness and equality uh, for families right across the, the country. We need this to happen. Chambers of Commerce, Boards of Trade, provincial governments, uh, municipalities, they're clamoring for affordable child well, why care. Are you gonna, why are you waiting eight years? Oh, why are you waiting eight years, We're not waiting You are, because years. by 2020, you're going to spend two and a half billion dollars. Oh, That's 50% wow. of the cost of the federal buy-in of a $10 billion program. And I can tell you the reason why you're doing that is because you refuse to raise corporate income taxes or anything else beyond what you could, and you're leaving $4 billion on the table. So, you know, you should be straight with the people who are watching this, and that is that our government has lost mm -hmm. $40 billion in spending power since Harper and since uh, in the last 10 years. And because the parties to my, to my right, both figuratively and literally, refuse to properly fund our government mm -hmm. or buy into a national daycare program tomorrow, not in eight years, we're still going to have devastating everybody. families by 2025, according to the NDP plan, yeah, and, by, and by the Liberal plan, we're just going to get checked. Well, no, everybody that, doesn't understand well, because you're saying it's going to be transformational, and it yeah, won't it be, be until 2025 on your yeah. on your agenda. No, okay. in the first year, so, in the so, first year, in the first year, uh, there will be uh, uh, affordable childcare spaces created under. Our plan. Everybody Who understands. Who are the lucky people? Everybody Who's understands people? that that can you I can't get my kid in there? I can't wait. Dan, I, may I? Everyone understands you can't press a button uh, and create uh, a, million, a million. You actually can. It's child called cares. taxes. It's called properly funding your government. Okay, let's so, let Julie. Yes, thank well, you so I, well, much. Well, actually, he did sort of attack the program, and I wouldn't mind a, an opportunity first to okay. explain the program. Quick response. Thank you so much. Uh, Look, everyone understands you. You're not going to press a button and have a million spaces uh, on October 20th. We have to build this out. Um, unfortunately, governments, both conservative and liberal, over the last 30 years have promised child care spaces and never delivered. We are finally going to do it, and we're going to do it in a very measured, progressive, and fast way, and, and we're going to start right away. And, okay, and there, will be, there will be child care spaces 
right away, and they will be costing no more than fifteen so dollars a day. I'm going right to just remind the, the audience that in 2005, uh, Prime Minister Martin actually tried to introduce a national daycare plan, but it was the NDP government that did not support us. The government fell, and we ended up with the Harper government for ten years. The Canada Child Benefit, the only reason we're actually putting more, we've decided we're going to put more money into parents' pockets right now. And that what that means, just so you know, $67,000 is the average household income in Davenport. So what that means with a family of two kids is an additional $8,100 $8, a year, so about $700 a month. So the everybody wants a national a daycare plan. We, that's right. I, I want that's it now. People, that's why it's so, I want that's it why now. It's but so the, popular but the, among yeah, people. Yeah, but the Liberal Party, the reason we haven't proposed this, right now the provinces mm -hmm. don't have the money. Mm -hmm. So right now under so, the NDP plan is so what you have to do is you have to get provinces to fund 40% of it. Well, they don't have it. So what I'd like, what we're doing is we're putting money. Do you right want to let me finish, that's Andrew? Right. We, we let you finish if you could let me finish. So that means that we're putting immediately dollars into parents' pockets right now because we know how expensive childcare is. I will also tell you that if we want to have national daycare, we should elect more women to parliament. We've been at around 25% for a good 30 years, and I think that if we actually want to have national daycare, we should be electing more women to parliament across Canada. Well, I totally Thank agree with that. Agree with I that. totally agree with that, and we've got a record number of women running for the NDP. Yeah, I'm gonna but, but I can, I, you know, the problem, Julie, I have with the Liberal plan is that you guys are going to take $20 billion and spend it on sending checks out, which totally ignores is like a basic economic principle of economies of scale. What you can create with $20 billion. And secondly, what's the purpose of government? Just to give you money back? You know, we're going to take your money and give it back to you? With $20 billion, first of all, a, a fully funded national daycare plan is about $10 billion. And then you could move on to free secondary post free post-secondary education. I don't quite understand why this program that the, that the, the Liberals are going to go into further debt for us because they also refuse to raise enough funds for the government of Canada to properly uh, operate, why this would be in anyone's interest. It's not going to create anything. It's a very market-based approach to a public issue of immense importance. Julie, go ahead and respond. Yeah, I, I mean, my response to that is, uh, I act, as I mentioned, I actually think that the reason we don't have national daycare is because I do think that the provinces don't have money right now. In the interim, what you do is you actually, because the middle class is so strapped for funds right now, you put more money I immediately into their pocket. I'll let you know, I will be fighting. You know, if, I, if I'm blessed enough to become the next member of parliament, I will be fighting for a national daycare pr uh, program as, excuse me, as quickly as possible. Well, we have one uh, on offer right now, and listening, to my, listening to my friends, a, a spot for uh, for for eight years. Listening to my friends here uh, uh, discuss the issue of daycare, um, it's it's pretty clear that it, this is a major issue, and we need a bold a plan that starts uh, on October 20th, and that's what Tom Mulcair's plan is, Apparently and we it can do it. On and we can do you it. can't press the button, can you? We, we can start right you away. You press it in your platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we uh, move on to our next question? That was a good, healthy discussion, and <laughs> totally. I think there's uh, more to come as well because.